So in this video, I want to introduce or reintroduce you to Venn diagrams, okay? And really what I want to do is be able to identify you the regions uh, that are identified by these probabilities here. So a Venn diagram uh, that consists of two events. Now it doesn't just have to have two events, it can have three uh, or more, okay, depending on how it can be drawn. Uh, we're just going to look at two events in this case. Would be drawn usually, traditionally, as two circles that are intersecting and overlapping within a box where one circle represents event A, the other circle represents event B. Okay, so what it allows for is um, just A, A and B, just B, and neither. Okay, so it allows for every eventuality. So if I'm looking at a Venn diagram and I want to shade the region that is represented by the probability of A, then what I'm going to shade in is just the circle of A. Now that includes, of course, the intersection there. Because if I'm looking at the property of A, I'm looking at the whole of A. Okay. So the probability of B, so A and B, if I'm looking at the property of B, then I need to shade all of circle B. So if I'm looking at not A, there's A, there's B, okay? So let's do not A. Then not A is anything outside of the circle of A. So anything that is outside of it. Okay, like that. So not B would be anything outside of B. So anything outside of B is anything there, okay? So they're kind of like your four basic ideas, okay, of shading a Venn diagram. Now, if I'm looking at A or B or both, so here's my two circles. There's my box around them. Then what I'm saying there is that I either I'm looking at A, which is all of that, or I'm looking at B, which is all of that circle, or both. So it includes the intersection. So it's anything that is within those two circles, including where they overlap. Okay? Because it's A or B or both. It can be any of those three regions. As for A and B, okay, now if I'm looking at specifically a and B, not A or B, A and B, I am looking at their overlap, okay, where those two regions overlap. So these two concepts have specific notation that go with them. Now, if you're looking at the property of A or B or both, we refer to that as the probability of A union B, okay? So this U shape represents the union, okay? And what you can do is you can build that up from the principal parts that we have, okay? Um, but first of all, I need this guy here, okay? This overlap, because this overlap that we have there we represent as the intersection of A and B. So think of it as where the two circles overlap, 
where they intersect. Okay, That is where we use this N shape. So it's a reverse symbol of that one upside down. Okay. So we can build up a formula for A union B using what we have here and that intersection. Because the idea would be that we know that we've got all of A, so we've got all of the probability of A there, plus all of the probability of B. But what happens is that when we do that, and you can see how, I, how when I shaded it, I've got all of the lines going this way for A, I've got all the lines going this way for B, but in the middle, that's created that kind of crosshatch, right? And that means that that overlap part has been added twice. So I've included that twice. I only want to include it once. So I would need to subtract one of those intersections, which is represented by that A and B. OK, so we now have a formula for the union of two events occurring. The probability of A plus the probability of B take away the intersection. OK, and we also understand what that intersection now means. So this is how we can bring Venn diagrams and this new notation of probabilities into the fray.